Well, hello, friends. How's it going? It's your friend Jeff playing the Temple of Elemental Evil. With the Circle of Eight new content, along with Temple Plus, so you can play this game on your PC. Now, I'm going to show you my main character. And I'm going to show you this is a retirement note. When you are ready to retire from adventuring, drag this notice onto your use icon. And that's this right over here. And this will show a slideshow of all that you've done, because remember I had complained in the last video that it didn't tell the whole story of me like saving Prince Rommel and all that stuff. Thrommel and, and all that stuff was because we're playing the Circle of Eight new content. We're not playing the uh, Circle of Eight just base game where the game would end when you kill the demoness in the lower dungeon of the temple. Because that's where normally the game would end. But because this is new content, um, this is why we have this. And if I'm going to do some quests here in uh, Verbombek or whatever, if I pronounce that correctly, um, you know, we want to have that added to all the things that we do when we close out the game. So, anyways, I just wanted to explain that, so if anybody in that situation, uh, you would then know that. So we can go to this post here, and we can f pick different places to go to and stuff. Um, and I don't know what time of the day it is, but we can go in here. What I know in here, and you can see what the the Circle of Eight did is they copied the, the temple and they put it here and they made all this quests and different things that we can then continue to play the game, which is kind of cool. Welcome to Ver Bob Neck, whatever the city hall. My name is Captain Abraham, or whatever. And what's your business? Okay, so now I don't know if you can read this, but it's going to be a lot, so I'm, not, I'm just going to I'm just going to pan through it. So this is for government buildings, local shops. Local inns and taverns. Basic lay of the land. Oh, and um, I'd like to visit Lord Vescom. I'd like to meet him and offer my service. I am most appreciative. Okay, so... Okay, so it must be daytime, because he's going to be here. So we can we can go into here. Will do. And I'll take my rogue, because she has the better options for talking. Oh, no, wait a minute. Maybe it is not... It must not be daytime. This is right where he would be. So, all right. Well, we can't do that. As you wish. Hey, okay, fine. All right. Well, we're gonna have to. Well, I guess we could pass time. Let me see. Let's go to morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about. Okay, let's go ahead and go to morning. Oh, it's 11 hours. All right. So now we should be able to go in. Sure. Yeah? Okay, now wait a minute, why isn't he in here? Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Maybe we gotta give it some time. I don't know. Let me see. Let's go back to here and talk to this guy again. See if I missed a I missed something that he said. Let me see. Uh, yes. Okay, so yeah, now we can see him through the door. You're most gracious. Okay. Yeah, maybe we had to, um, I guess in the daytime, maybe we had to talk to him. So now I think he should be in here. As you wish. Ah, yeah, there he is. He's kind of like the leader here. Because if you were to fight some of these guys, then he'd get mad at you and the whole town would be against you. But anyways, okay, let's talk to him. Let's see what he has to say. A right fine day to you, greetings. And then I have to tell him about the Turgeon and Homlet. And I had to give the bad news about the... The lady who died, uh, but anyways, and it and then my travel sense to nub and, and I I ruined the temple and, and all that. Okay, so I was just telling me what I or telling him what I did. So you are that light catcher. Well, um, you have you have my deepest gratitude accomplishments blah 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 uh, perhaps you would in fact like to indicate a mission for me yeah what's the problem okay so we got something lit in the, lit up here as a as a quest so that's good that's what we want quest and uh you want me to investigate the trade routes He's talking about the, there's been some storms and the caravans have been again, so having some problems with the weather. Ah uh, yes, there is a tunnel that runs northwest of the known quarters across from the river. With luck, cause a violent weather. Okay, so, alright, we will investigate that matter for you. Um, you should talk to Prince Zook. And I can say, do you believe the gnomes that they are in the Dove Tunnel? Well, my, my chief advisor, Lurik, does say the gnomes have a very inventive imagination. I trust, Prin I trust Prince Zook, but I'm not sure I believe that everything he says is the best interest. So where can I find Lurik? And to speak to him. But I, I know he enjoys the menu at Zebel's Maroon uh, Moon. Also, oh, he's at the city hall. Oh, okay, so. Okay. So it looks like, now you can see the temple here of where I freed her and her and, and I helped him a little bit. You can see Nub here where I, I did a, these quests here and then the town you can see in Homlet. I did all these quests in Homlet. And now it looks like we have some quests here. So frozen assets. All right, looks like we got some quests. As you wish.
Oh, so this is that guy, Lurik. How may I be assistance to you? I'm looking into some matters here locally of the Lord and I'd like to ask a few questions. Delightful, delightful. How can I help? Um, well, there seems to be some indication that you distrust Vince, Lo Vince Zook and the gnomes of Burbonic. Oh, I changed my mind. Right, let's see about this. Oh dear, uh, who, whomever said that? It's not that I don't trust the gnomes. That isn't such an in, in, inventive minds as they have. You can really be sure that anything they say isn't exaggerated to beyond the realm of truth. We have investigated the matter through the concluded that the reports are baseless. Yeah, I don't really know, you know, how to play that. As you wish. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. Hold on. Yes, sir. Let's see what we can do over here. Of course. Okay, we're gonna go over here for just a moment. Right. Okay, yes, I'd like a room. I'm gonna essentially for 800 gold. So now we can go Very in well. here and we can rest. I'm off. Okay. All right, so now we have a place here we bought for 800 bucks. We can always go in here and rest and, you know, get healthy. So that is good. Okay, well, I guess what I could show you is we could go over here these are where the shops are there's a whole bunch of them as you can see
Whatever you say. We are seven brothers and sisters who run the shop. Okay. Do the boys push you around? The boys act up, but they know who's boss. Okay. All right, so now here we are, and you can see what this this person has here is these. And what I'd like to do is I would like to buy this cloak of Elven, and I'd like to buy this uh, boots of Elven. And this cloak will give uh, Melanie, uh, the wearer, a five plus competence bonus to hide checks. Cause she she's the worst one in the whole game so I gotta go ahead and give her anything that I can do to, to help her five competence bonus to move silent and checks so there we go then we'll just sell that but this person here won't buy any of this so we're just buying stuff that we may want so, for example, Elmo has a regular bow. So if I buy a masterwork bow and I put that right here, when he uses this bow, it'll be plus one compared to this. Now, this doesn't have magical aspects, but you can apply magic to masterwork items. You cannot do it to just regular weapons. But the difference between a masterwork weapon and a regular weapon is, you know, you get one point. So, for example, if I take these out, if I put this bow here, um, you can see that the AC is 20 and the primary is 16. Now, if I go like this... Notice the primary went to 17 because it has a masterwork longbow plus one. So a regular blow, bow, you don't get that. So this is a better bow than this one. So although it's not a magical bow, it's still a one point better than this one. So that's just a way of improving what he has. And then I think Falcon has the same thing. So we'll just put that down here because we want to get rid of that. And we'll grab the last masterwork one and we'll put it here. And now if I use Falcon to, to shoot arrows, he'll have a plus one. And that, that's really nice. Now you can see my main character has a actually a plus one longbow. So this one has a magic, one, one plus on magic. And so does my ranger. Now when I created my rogue, she couldn't use a long bow. She could only use short bows. So she has a regular short bow. And so it looks like we have two, two masterwork uh, short bows. So I'll give her that, so when she does that, she'll have a plus one with that bow instead of this one. But this person won't buy it, and the only other thing she has is this here. And I guess, you know, I could go and see... And I'll, I'll just buy these, these arrows just for the heck of it. And we don't need that, because, you know, we don't need that. We, we got a... my, um... My cleric has a plus three longsword, so I mean that is awesome. But that's about all that we can do here. We could also talk to the this one. What's your story? And he he can he talks about the sisters and whatever, and they make gloves and cloaks. And if you go trade, you'll see that he's selling the same stuff, so it, 
it doesn't, you know, whatever. That's just a little something to talk to them, I guess, if you wanted to talk to them. Right away. It's about girls and boys, I guess. All right, now I know that this vendor here sure. does buy stuff. So we'll talk with the rogue because she has the better talking and, and plus uh, bartering. So she's a le leather worker. And she's got a bunch of leather. But we can go ahead and sell the stuff that we don't want. Now I get rid of the stuff that I don't want. Alright. I think that's all I can do here. At your service. I can go down here. Very well. Let me see what this vendor has. Oh, now if you wanted to have different things like this, you could buy this kind of stuff, but I don't have no need for that, so... I'm off. We're just gonna get out of there. Right away. Oh no, he's got these kind of things here. A masterwork horn. I'll give that to her. Maybe she can make make use out of that. I'm not 100% certain. Usually it's your bard that needs these kind of things, but I don't have a bard. But that's just sure. interesting to know that, that that's right there if you want to do that. Now we can come over here. Right away. Ah, and this one's got a lot of ones. Fireball of seventh. Ooh, a fireball of ninth level. So I'm gonna buy that for her. Hey, magic missile. Magic missile of fourth. Give that to her. Alright, let's see if we can see what else they got.
Oh, these are expensive though, look. 21630 gold pieces. So it's 21,000 gold pieces to, bu to buy these. Wow. I mean, I got a lot of money. All right, let's go up to the top here and see. Okay, Fireball 5th. Fireball 5th. Wand of Fear. Magic Missiles of 5th. Oh yeah, so she's got fireballs of fifth. And I can give her magic missiles. Wand of Confusion. A Wand of lo lo Enlarge a Person. Yeah, I might as well get this. There'll be times when we need to identify some stuff. Oh, one protection from energy. That ought to be good. All right, and as you can see, my money, my money here is going down. So I think, I think I got, a, I got quite a bit of options here. I think. But the, I didn't see any that were for, you know, medical. I would have liked to have had some of those. But anyways, yeah, we, we actually bought a lot in here. I spent a lot of dough, but I, but I have a lot. Whatever you say. Okay, she's got a few items here. Nothing special. If you insist. Very well. Nothing special there, I don't think. Right away. So I guess a lot of this would be as if you wanted to change things with your yes. characters or whatever. Okay, so now uh, we have a few items here. Uh, 
All right, so I'm looking at um, Melanie. So I think we can just give her these two things. This stuff weighs too much for me. Oh, come on. Come on. All right. And it's still... Is she still gonna be overweight? This stuff weighs too much. This stuff weighs too much for me. This stuff weighs too much for me. This stuff weighs too much for me. Hmm. All right, well, I'm just going to have to say, okay, she's going to be in combat a little bit. I mean, I guess if I if I took away one wand, what would be more important for her to have? Fireballs or magic missile? All right, let's go ahead and take that away. Okay, so anyways, as you can see, this gives a 2 plus circumstance bonus to heal. And, and this one uh, is a scholar's kit. Scrolls. A plus 2 bonus to spell checks. Alright. All right, that's all we'll buy for we'll now. We'll do. Now we got a laborer here that we could talk to, I guess. So let's just do that for a moment. Ah, maybe it's this guy over here, no? Nope, alright, well, we can't really do... I guess we can't really do anything with him. Now, here's a, here's a mystic place right here. I don't know, maybe there okay. might be some quests involved with that, but I am not certain. Okay, so we have some places here that we could visit.
어. 오케이, okay, so I guess we're gonna get back to the temple area. And I think what we're gonna do is... Because here's the inn. And we were way down here at the shops. And I, I got some stuff for the guys here. But sometimes it's hard to find stuff, so it's easier to... Ask her to go right here. And we can look and see the places that we can go. Now we can go to the Spruce Goose. We'll do. Okay. Hello, Jenna. It's good to see you again. Oh my, it's you. My savior from the... that horrible temple. Yes. I'm only too glad that you made it back alive and well. Thank you. I have to go. All right, so that's Jenna, right there. And is it, if you can see right here, Jenna, from the temple, I rescued her. And it's kind of cool that the Circle of Eight made uh, Verbombek and, you know, put a place for her to be. You can see how they did it, you know what I mean? This looks like the, uh, the Madam's place from nub so they just copied that over and then they put people in here and so they made more content for us to play around with you know what i mean don't you think that's kind of cool so now i'll go see what this uh this innkeeper says welcome to the great night yes i'd like to stay here how much is a room uh not right now All right. Whatever you say. Okay, so um, we do have some quests, right? We talked to that guy or whatever, and we, we got some quests. They've been placed here in the town. So you can see here... We got these four quests. So I happen to know that this guy over here is um, the half-orc rogue that we need to apprehend. So I'm going to put my best fighter over here with the Scather. My Barbarian. My Ranger. My cleric and my rogue. Now check this out, right? She's level 12 rogue. She's a human. And this here is an orc 
who is, um, I think he's level 14. And he has more health than what she has. All right, so, so you've, you've tracked me down, have you? Who are you? This is Gunther Gladstone. Of course, I figured you'd be after me. Why is that? And Arcane made uh, that rather clear, bounty hunters, I take it. But no matter, I'll make you a deal. I'll take you to Corpus if you let me go. He's the one you really want, the mastermind. If you will, just don't try to take me back on to the watch post. I, I'm, you know, I'm not that dumb. Okay, well. Okay, so he's saying all that, right? But what I, what I can tell you is, if if you have seven people in your party, you can have him join. But then again, you got a bad guy with you, and he doesn't really take you to this guy. He, there's no link to find him, and I have no idea. So I can I can say I've got no room for you in my group, and that's just as bad as saying I don't agree with him. So if that's the way you want it, he'll attack. Okay, so now he's a rogue, so he can do secret he can do sneak attacks and stuff like that. So all I can do here is is tell everybody to be ready ready for approach. I'm moving her out. Now, she can now hit him. And now I can get my scatter yes, over here. Maybe Ori protect us. And I know she can hit with the, uh... Yes, sir. That weapon there, and... And now this one can hit with a great sword that okay. has cold damage. And actually my rogue can come in here. And now my summer yes, can sir. hit. And she does a critical. And on top of all that, it was enough XP for Melanie to get to level 12. She was the only one that was at 11 compared to all of us. And I don't even think he got to really... He missed when he struck Summer. So he didn't even get to hurt any of us. So that is absolutely the best outcome that I could actually do with this. So, all right. So actually I can I can upgrade Melanie because as you can see here she can only hold 33 pounds. I mean that is ridiculous. So yeah, I'm gonna have to upgrade her. She's a druid. And we can, we finally get a stat again. And I have no choice but to put it under strength. Because I can tell you that uh, druids, the only two good categories for them is wisdom and dexterity. That's the only two that are really good. Like I only highlight what, what is the best things that they can have. And I, I, I put two or three things and I, I'm telling you, but I have to put a point here and she still has a zero here. so. So, you know, so that, whatever, it's just, that's what I have to do. So here we go, put one there, because I, I always believe in concentration. Uh, spellcraft, that's her craft, partly. Um, we like 
tumble survival and use those devices and our feet I think what I'm going to give her is greater spell penetration. And there. So she's now level 12 like everybody else. Now, well, I'm just going to get my rogue over here. And she's already here. She can see what this Done. guy has. Alright, let me go to my ranger. Cause she has an identifier. Yeah, so so I'm gonna take the the short sword, the magic short swords, the magic armor, and these. Oh, it's monk. So I'm only gonna take the magic stuff. So now the ranger has it. Well, I was gonna use the the wand, but like I said, I'm in a town, so I might as well just right skip away. that for a minute. Let's just get out of here. Oh. Okay, a uh, lighter. You there, what is the meaning of this row in the middle of my inn? I was attempting to apprehend a prisoner for Captain Achan uh, of the Watch. Well, I can't have you just wrecking the place. I need some coin to cover the losses cause. Could, couldn't you have taken him outside? Fine, how much do you want? She wants 150 gold? I mean, okay, fine. I got a lot of money. I don't care. Here you go. Yes, dear lady. Alright, so... So that helped her out, I guess. We, we wrecked her place a little bit. Right so away. now we're just gonna get out of here. And we didn't even get hurt, so that's good. We didn't even use any magic or nothing. Yeah, and I didn't even know that this place was right here. Like, we were over here. Instead, I ran all the way over to here to find the place. Isn't that weird? Okay, so anyways. So let's get over here. Because we're real close anyways. Will do. And we'll go to this merchant. Okay, so he he's telling us a stuff, and I, I don't really feel like reading much, but humble shop, probably. he's adventuring. I wonder if this guy's going to give us... Let me see. All our bowls are masterwork quality, so you will not find any mundane bows. Ah, so he has all kinds... Hey, look, check this out. Yeah. Okay, so now... Oh, wow, he's even got a long bow one. Whoa, look at all the stuff he's got. A 
Okay, so now he even has comp composite longbows, strength 12. And he's even got longbow right here, plus one. Wow. Check it out. Okay, so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and sell the stuff that I just got. Well, first of all, I have to identify it. I don't mind spending 100 gold. I got a lot of money. Okay, so check this out. This is a short sword plus one. 1120 gold pieces it's worth. This is a short sword plus two. 4,000 gold pieces worth. Tan leather armor. 526 gold. We'll just go ahead and sell that. And we're going to sell these short swords. So we just got a whole bunch of body. And now she has a plus one longbow. He has a plus one longbow. So I think I'm going to take this, this plus one longbow. I'm going to put it right there. And I guess I could sell this one back to him. Because this is a plus one bow. And now the only thing I got to figure out... She's already got one of these. And she already has one of these. So I think we're all good there. So let me think about this for just a minute. Um, I gotta find my my rogue. And remember we took this. This is 1d6 23. So this is 1d6 23. So a masterwork composite short bow, strength 12, 1d6, 23. So it's no real different. See, what, what I'm trying to figure out is... I guess the only way to figure it out would be like this. Suppose I put this one right here. It shows 16. Now, suppose I buy this one. Now watch the 16 here. See if anything changes. No, it doesn't. But we have to have 12 strength in order to use this. With this one, we don't. So this one must be better in some way. So I'll sell this one back to him. Now he has composite 14 and 16. But I think that's all I'm going to go with. I don't these quiver arrows. We 
I've got silver arrows. Oh, I've got quiver arrows of plus two. Wow. Hey, these are plus two. And this one's plus one. Check it out. All right, well, that's all I'm going to do here because that's about it. I think that's about it I can do. Because I've spent a lot and I, and, and you know what I mean? We're all pretty full with what we're carrying. So I think that is really good. So if we got, you insist. we're going to have to remember this place right here because they have some really good bows there. All right, we're going to have to get back to... Yeah, see, we can't, we can't travel like that, unfortunately. All right, so we're going to just go over to the church. We're going to get way up here. And what we have to do, uh, and I'm going to end the video, is I got to get up here. And I got to uh, go to the, 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 the jailer, I guess, and tell him that I ended up killing that guy. And that should end one of the quests. Well, we gotta wait for everybody to get here. Right away. I know we probably could use that sign outside, but I I don't remember what the place was called, so I don't so I'm just gonna do it the manual way right here, so whatever you say. Alright, we're gonna go right over to here. And we're gonna talk to this guy here. And I've got news about Gunter Gladstone. Tell me, I found him hiding out right there, here in uh, Verbombek. Uh, he would not come peacefully, so I had to kill him. You were defending yourself against a violent criminal and only did what you must to survive. The Lord Viscount will not be troubled by such an outcome. Collect your reward. All right, and then you as you notice here we All right, right here. Okay, so we got we got one quest completed. We killed one of them. And we have frozen assets that we got to do. We got to do we got to find this one and we got to find this one. So those are the only quests that I am aware of right now. So I think this would be a good place to stop. But actually, okay. I've changed my mind. I, th I, I know what I want to do. The, for the last thing that I'll do is I'm, we're going to go to the inn. Yes. Because it's nearby and it'll only take a moment. Because I think what I forgot to do was, I forgot to give Melanie, because she got to level 12, I forgot to give her, her, um, her, uh, like, she, um, she, she must have, at level 12, you have to earn, you must have earned a, a new spell or something. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. So that way you can see what I picked. As you wish. Because we paid 800 to this guy over here so we can do Whatever so we say. can have this as our place. So So basically all I want to do is I'll uh, tell Melanie to get over here so I can see her. And we're going to go ahead and go to inventory. I'm on it. And she can get she can get two spells. So we're going to find a level 5 spell. And she's got cure critical wounds. Let's have death ward just in case we'll need that. And for level 6, Cure Light Wounds uh, for mass people will try that. And we've got to just rest eight hours. And we're going to go ahead and save the game. We'll just call it 83. And that is it. So anyways, no matter where you are in the world, I hope you have a great day or a great afternoon. Take care of yourself. Be kind to others. God bless to you in your own religion, of course. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos and amigas.